Alright, so it is November the 1st, so I figured I would do a quick stock stockpile update on what I've got in the stockpile, what I'm low on, what I'm going to get, sort of where we're starting the month at, and then maybe I'd do one at the end of the month to see where we end at. So let's start from the bottom. Um, I have five juices. I will get more juice. That's not quite enough. And we're always cycling out. I have one single lactose free milk left, so I'll have to get some more of those. And then we go up. I'm good for diced tomatoes. I'm good for kidney beans. I have some black beans and some um, coconut cream there. I have my Indian curries, my stir fry sauces, my chicken tonight, my pasta bake sauces, my pasta sauces. There you are. Um, I have a few tins of uh, tuna, little tins of tuna, cream rice, which is uh, an easy dessert for the kids when I can't be bothered, <laughs> uh, strawberry jam, which will go into the pantry soon, and then I will have to pick up another one. I always make sure I have one or two extras. Sorry, there's a fly buzzing around my head from having the garage open today. Um, always keep two of those on hand, or at least one in reserve because if the kids put their um, spoons or knives in something then I can't eat it because then it's contaminated um, with gluten. I've got two salsas which I would like, I'd like to have three or four on hand because we do eat a lot of nachos um, but that's okay to start the month. I have two peaches, two fruit cocktail, um, two big tunas and three pineapple slices and one pineapple chunks there so we do that for pizzas and just to eat because um we have a uh, cup of soups these are for when my daughter is uh, sick she loves soup and it makes me feel better to give her something warm when she can't keep anything else down so there's that this is actually on the wrong shelf somebody's moved this so i will just shove it up here for now um and so is that this is my gluten-free shelf. You can see, I'll come back to this one. You can see it is super chock block at the moment and that's because I got a care package from Organ with some gluten-free stuff that they wanted me to review. And they all kind of just got shoved there for now. So it's pushed some other stuff out of the way. But um, gluten-free wise, I have gluten-free breadcrumbs. I have gluten-free elbows, gluten-free penne. I have gluten-free spaghetti. Gluten-free lasagna sheets and gluten-free spaghetti. Oh, that's gluten-free spaghetti. That's just two different types of lasagna sheets. So yeah, um, I have gluten-free pasta nests. I have that flour they sent me, a flour I already had, raisin flour they sent me, vegan egg stuff, which I'm going to do a review on at some point. And there are three buckwheat pancake mixes, a corn flour, because I use that in a lot of baking. Um, this Betty Crocker cookies you saw, which I'm going to eat soon because they are so good. Um, these nut bars, these are gluten free and I keep some for snacks, um, for my handbag and stuff when I can't get food when I'm out. These are rice crackers. Uh, these are really, gluten free stuff's really expensive. These are super expensive. These are so good. But they're $9 for this tiny little packet and this looks like a big packet, right? What they don't what you don't know is that this bit is cardboard this bit is cardboard and there are three tiny packets of three crackers in here in the middle sorry six individual packets of three crackers in the middle but they are so good they taste just like sayos which is amazing and they're crunchy which is hard to find um they're usually nine dollars i got these for six dollars each so that's why i have two of them i got these for a dollar they're gluten free Keep them there. These were four dollars, gluten free. I've got a big thing. I'm on a, a thing with gluten free crackers and cream cheese at the moment. So yeah. So back to where I was. <laughs> Sorry to be jumping around. So vegetable stock. I always keep a nice little thing of that there. Um, these are my sort of pre packet stuff. So I've got pre packet pasta. We eat this. Or we I used to eat this, but. My kids and my family love this, especially with it's a chicken and some vegetables in it. It's a quick, easy meal. I buy them when they're a dollar and they just live there. They last forever. The expiry dates and they're more ridiculous. Um, 
these packets, these are all gluten free sauces. So they're satay chicken. Uh, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that curry. Butter chicken, chicken tikka, and another chicken tikka because I love me some chicken tikka. And I get these. These were on clearance. Um, these were 50 cents. And I, these ones over here were $2 on clearance. And they're just rice wok ready noodles and they're gluten free for some meals. So up here. I'm down to my last bottle of sweet chili sauce, so that will be on my list for November. I have my thick rice noodles there, my thin rice noodles. I have three packets, so I'm good for those. This is one kilo of rice paper sheets. I have an open one that can sit there forever, basically. I have one, two, three um, gluten-free two-minute noodle-y things. I have two of these gluten-free sauces. I use them instead of soy sauce. Um, there's a rice wine vinegar there, a hot pot base, and that sushi rice there. Um, that isn't gluten-free shelf, it just happens to be gluten-free. That's my Asian shelf, and I guess my two-minute noodles live there too, because noodles. Um, up top, I have four rolls of Costco paper towel left, which means I need to go in November, December. Probably going to go in November, so I don't have to do the Christmas rush with all the people. Um, just because four will only get me to like New Year's, maybe. Alright, so next shelf. Let's go back down the bottom and start at the bottom and work our way up. I've got my greens cake mixes and somebody's left a little hairbrushy thing there, but that's okay. Greens cake mixes. Uh, we've opened the chocolate one, we're working our way through that. Um, in here, I've got a big bag of basmati rice, five kilo bag there. I have normal um, long range Australian rice in that one down there. This bottom box at the moment is empty, but it's so pretty. And this pink one, it has um, all of our pasta. So like our bags of pasta, I'll show you. Oh God, that's heavy. So macaroni, rotoni, vegetable, spaghetti, elbows, everything. Lives in there. So when my pasta jars get um, half full or less, I will fill them up. I have a migraine noodles. I have two gluten-free enchilada kits there. I have a normal plain flour there. Three beef noodles, four chicken noodles. I try and keep about that amount because if something goes wrong, um, like things have been going on long lately, and I need to make a quick meal, I'd much rather my kids go to bed with a full stomach of hot food, and even if that's two-minute noodles, than nothing or cereal or just the crap you throw together at the last minute. So, my kids have been in here dropping stuff, so there's a piece of chalk and a little brush there too. Um, up here we have muesli bars. I've just opened this one, so it's um, almost full. That one in the back's full. This is an 8-pack of Easy Mac. My daughter adores it. Um, I've just gone through two more packets of this, but I got these on clearance for $2. And they're great snacks and lunchbox snacks. I have a Hershey's chocolate syrup sitting here. From a Costco haul and now this is my box cake mixes I do make most of my baking from scratch but hubby sometimes likes to make a box mix with the kids for a bit of fun so I've got chocolate that one's caramel mug cake chocolate uh, butter vanilla and butter um, these are lasagna sheets I got these for 50 cents a box and they had tons and tons and tons of them so I grabbed one two three four five six I got six of them I've already used one and there's what I'm gonna make the kids lasagna and lasagna is out of for like the rest of the year expiry dates are perfectly fine they were changing the packaging um, so I've got wafers hubby takes those for work sometimes I break them down for kids lunches so I've got those I have popcorn uh, we've been having a lot of movie nights so there's some popcorn there, I think there's one, two, three, there's six popcorn there. Um, I have only one of these because I usually buy the brand name ones from Coles Mall, that's when they're at half price, but they haven't been on, I missed the special and I grabbed some from Aldi. I have a taco shell kit for tacos one night. This is my lunchbox section, so I keep at least one of these in here and then when my lunchbox box gets slow, I will fill it up from here with the shapes and that and the pretzels I'll break down and the cookies and things like that. All right, I have these mini sultanas for my daughter. She loves sultanas, but she doesn't get through a whole pack. So we've got these mini ones so she can have half a pack. 
I've got some jellies and I will make up those with the uh, tinned fruit cocktail for uh, lunchbox and snacks. I have these off-brand shapes there for lunchboxes, snacks. That's all our biscuits. There's scotch fingers, milk, and one little chocolate pack, pack of chocolate biscuits in there. So I'll need to get more when I find biscuits on clearance or special. Those are for cup of teas and biscuits. My daughter, my kids are a big fan. I have nachos, chips there, corn chips, three of them. There, I actually have another packet over here because I have a party to go to tomorrow, so I'm taking those. Um, we have crackers for parties and pretzels for lunches and these cookies that I got really super cheap there for lunch boxes eventually when I add them working my way through them. These cookies have migrated from here. Um, I always keep a bag of cookies in here and a bag of cookies in the cookie jar for treats. So I have six boxes of tissues. I always have six boxes of tissues. If I take one out, I will buy another one in the next week or so, um, well, the next month's uh, shop. Because when one of us gets sick, generally it goes through the whole family and then there's four of us sick and we can go through two or three boxes over like a flu, uh, a, a flu. So rather than having to go to the shops when we're sick, I keep enough that I can just come out here and grab what we need. Toilet paper. I have that much toilet paper. We go through a lot of toilet paper. Uh, my kids like to poo. <laughs> and we have two bathrooms and two toilets. So uh, we go through probably one of those every week and a half. So there is about three weeks of toilet paper there, just to be sure. I have not panic bought toilet paper. I always have toilet paper on hand. I did not need to go shopping for toilet paper for, I think, four weeks I made it stretch to over the whole crazy beginning of the pandemic. Now, here is my sort of chemistry kind of thing. Uh, the drinking chocolate's just living there because someone's put it there, but I keep that for hot chocolates in an evening. I have shampoo and conditioner. I have my hubby's favorite body wash, which I only buy when it's on clearance and it's hard to find, so I grab it on clearance. I have an open hand sanitizer and then two other hand sanitizers. I have a kids cough syrup, a Panadol Nurofen, a Panadol for kids. I have Panadol for adults and, Pan and Nurofen for adults. My husband eats them. Um, he has really bad teeth so when something happens um, and he needs to go to the dentist and he's in pain, he will go through two or three boxes in a week and I need to have lots on hand for if we get sick or something goes wrong. So, I got sandwich bags, I got a big uh, thing from Costco, it's way, way cheaper to get these big ones for sandwich bags, these are for the party, behind that is my dishwashing liquid, my garbage bag, my scrubby, scrub things, these are my um, freezer bags, these are from Ikea, so whenever I go to Ikea I grab a box, um, these were free, these are uh, Sukata chicken crackers, gluten free crackers, that somebody uh, gave me a bunch for free. I don't know why. Um, oh, I've just put up some cabinets in my uh, office and obviously hubby decided to drop the things here. Um, I've got one packet of the gluten-free popcorn. It's so good. Um, I have to wait for it to go on special again. I have two packets of wheat bix for the kids and two packets of oats sachets for the kids for quick, easy breakfasts. Down here we have, if someone gets sick, I generally give them Powerade, and I have Powerade when I'm not feeling well. And so I keep those there. I buy them when they're on half price, $1.80 each, and I grab a couple each time and let it build up. I have uh, some Zupa Dupas for when people are sick or when it's hot because it's summer now. And I got those for $2 each. Down here I have my big thing of sunflower oil. I have a cleaning liquid bulk thing that I mix up and that was a thing of vinegar, but now it's water. So yeah, that is my stockpile at the moment. Those blinds there um, are from a job and they're on Marketplace being sold. So there, I need to give this whole place a wipe down and a sweep. My kids and hubby like to dump things here when I'm not looking. <laughs> so yeah, that's our stockpile update for the 1st of November.